Hey everyone, let's talk about the Microsoft Surface Duo and Duo 2. This is going to be a slightly different video from my channel as I usually mostly talk about film cameras here. Um, but if you know me, you'll know I'm really into tech and gadgets as well and I frequently switch between uh, my mobile devices as well. I purchased uh, the Surface Duo uh, in March after uh, watching Michael Fisher's uh, long-term review. Uh, people on Reddit kept saying uh, that the Duo 2 is an improvement in every way. So I kind of wanted to give it a try. Um, so this is the Duo 2 and I've been using them uh, side by side for about a month now. And uh, I'm, to be honest, I'm not fully sure which I like better. Let me tell you why. So this video has chapters, uh, so skip ahead if there's any particular point that you're interested in. If you're unfamiliar, um, the Surface Duo and Duo 2 are uh, smartphones that have dual screens um, and they kind of function independently. So uh, you can open one app on one screen and then uh, the other one is still going to be on the home screen and you can open up uh, a totally different app on this one and interact with them completely uh, independently of each other. Microsoft has been marketing them heavily with productivity uh, in mind. So taking notes on one screen while having a Teams meeting on the other one, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but for me, it's been really, really useful for casual tasks as well. Uh, I think I'm not alone in second screening, for example, uh, while I'm watching YouTube, while scrolling Twitter on the other screen, or playing a game on, on the side. But also, it's been really nice to uh, do things like pa paste passwords uh, into a browser form on the other screen without having to switch around and then uh, my password manager will lock itself up uh, constantly or uh, the browser refreshes and your form is gone and that kind of stuff. You can also flick an open app uh, to the other screen and use the previous one for something else. Or uh, you can what they call span it uh, to fill both screens. Uh, however, you're going to have a uh, empty strip or a gap uh, between the two scripts. And before you recommend uh, other folding devices to me, uh, most of them have a totally different uh, aspect ratio that is not as uh, attractive to me. And uh, also, I don't really want to invest in a folding screen that is still kind of fragile uh, at this point. So let's get into uh, the differences between the OG Duo and the Duo 2. First off, uh, let's get the obvious thing out of the way, um, the camera. The quality of the camera uh, between the uh, OG Duo and the Duo 2 is no competition at all. Um, the original Duo has a front-facing uh, camera uh, and that is basically, it's okay for video calling or like scanning QR codes, that kind of stuff, but that's it. I wouldn't really count it as a stills camera at all. If you want to relay information, it's gonna do fine, but even with the slightest dip in lighting conditions, uh, if you're using it indoors, it's going to fall apart and lose uh, detail really, really fast. So if you really want to take pictures uh, with this kind of device, uh, avoid the OG. Um, I have noticed that even since buying the uh, Duo 2, I have really not taken pictures with it at all uh, because it's basically like taking pictures with a tablet. So you're, you're snapping like this and uh, I've never understood that. So I don't really want to take pictures with this device at all. Uh, it's my secondary phone. So I do have a, a regular uh, phone, a Pixel 5 in my other pocket and that's going to take better pictures anyways. So um, I'm not using that for that. So keep that in mind while you listen to me uh, talk about this uh, phone. It is basically a moot point for me. However, um, the camera bump is not. Um, the Surface Duo has a noticeable uh, camera bump. It is substantial. And if you lie the device flat on the table, um, like I frequently do, it will rock like no tomorrow. Um, on the other hand, uh, unlike many uh, people I've seen comment on this, uh, it doesn't really bother me um, that it doesn't fold flat anymore um, because um, they call this phone mode and I don't really use it. 
at all. Um, aesthetically, uh, yes, it bothers me, um, but on the other hand, um, it actually gives you a little space to put, put your fingers in there uh, when you're using it in phone mode. Um, so it might, might actually be a little more secure to grip. Overall though, I find the Duo 2 harder to hold um, since it's a good, good deal heavier, especially if you're one-handing it, um, which when you're just watching a video or stuff, you will have it in one hand um, and it's too heavy for that. Uh, I do like uh, that the sides are rubberized, uh, although the hinge is still very slippery. The biggest advantage I think uh, that the 2 has is the screen. It's a good deal taller uh, than the OG, which helps it uh, display a lot more information uh, when displaying something that is the same age, aspect ratio. Uh, for example, uh, in portrait mode, it is much, much better for reading comics, for example. Uh, you can see how much slimmer the margins are. Uh, I just wish that Kindle app uh, would display them properly in dual sc screen mode. Uh, it's optimized well for written text. Uh, it's not optimized at all for comics, but since they uh, completely has absorbed Comixology, that's all gone to shit anyway. So I'm not really uh, expecting them to improve that anytime soon. Video um, viewed on one screen, so in this orientation, just uh, covering one screen uh, will appear uh, the same way, so it's, it'll be larger, uh, while uh, in this, I guess this is, this is a landscape view, it will uh, be virtually the same uh, because the side bezels are marginally smaller on the, on the Duo, but not really any meaningful amount. The screen definitely looks crisper, and uh, with the 90 hertz uh, refresh rate, uh, it definitely looks a little smoother. Um, the animations are, are smoother. Uh, you will definitely notice it if you go back and forth uh, with them like I have. What I don't like uh, about the Surface Duo screen is the curve in the middle. It does virtually nothing to, to narrow down the gap uh, between the screens. In exchange, it bends the edges down and uh, the, the color shifts slightly and it really gets on my nerve uh, generally. So it also limits the area you can use uh, screen protectors on. As you can see, I, I'm using a matte one because I prefer that for look as well as feel. Uh, and it's much better if you're using a pen, by the way. Um, so I use that instead of uh, like the paper-like uh, kind of uh, screens, which I, th I find too scratchy. Uh, so I actually prefer uh, the TPU, uh, just matte, uh, really, really fine matte ones that don't have that, that little uh, grain glare. Um, the curved screen also gives us the famed uh, glance bar. Um, I don't really use it. Uh, I consider it a gimmick at best. Uh, either way, I really wish they could get rid of the gap. One could dream. Uh, another noticeable difference, and I've mentioned this, uh, is the weight. The two is noticeably heavier. Um, this is particularly apparent uh, when you're holding it in, in one hand while open. So obviously, since that side is as heavy as this one, uh, sounds the camera. It'll uh, exert more torque uh, on your fingers holding it um, and it will just feel re really, really heavy um, when you're holding it like this, uh, which I will frequently do when I'm watching something uh, spanned across the screens uh, while, for example, I'm on a uh, crowded commuter train, which is pretty common for users in Japan. It does feel a little more premium because of the weight and the heft uh, and the overall build, uh, but it is much more of a strain on the hand, in my opinion. The reason for the weight, of course, is that they uh, made heavy upgrades, not only on the camera, but the processor and the other ha hardware. Um, this is definitely apparent when you use it, especially when you go back and forth. Um, the OG Duo will definitely stutter a bit when you're opening apps or performing heavier tasks. It's something that I noticed particularly after switching back and forth uh, from the two, but after a bit of using it, uh, it usually stops bothering me. Just uh, two little additions that I realized I didn't mention. Uh, one is that the uh, camera bump on the Surface Duo 2 uh, kind of limits the uh, 
angle that you can use it in this laptop uh, kind of orientation in. Um, so as you can see, uh, the one is able to flip down almost all the way without tilting. Um, the two, if you go any further than this, uh, it will fall over. Uh, and then uh, the second thing is that uh, some um, USB devices aren't compatible with the uh, Surface Studio 1, uh, but work on the 2. Uh, so I have, for example, this little uh, Anchor SD card reader. Um, this works on the 2, uh, but does not work on the uh, 1. So I don't know what the issue is there, but uh, usually the cheaper US USB uh, SD card readers work, uh, but this, this kind of fancy one doesn't. And also, uh, Microsoft, while we're at it, uh, please add XFAT support to the Surface Duos uh, because there's really no reason why you couldn't. Um, and uh, it's really annoying not to be able to transfer my Sony files without a glitchy workaround. So yeah, please Microsoft. Overall, I really prefer um, the feel of the OG Duo's uh, hardware. It's uh, slimmer, the hinge moves a little more lightly so it doesn't have as much torque. Uh, it folds all the way back if you need it to, even with the bumper on it. Uh, it fits just fine in my pockets. Uh, the bumper, by the way, has this lip on the back which looks really stupid, but it kind of, kind of gives you an extra grip when you're, you're carrying the device uh, close. And I do like uh, the lighter weight as well. I just wish it had the Duo 2's screen. Uh, if it had that, I think I would definitely prefer this one. Uh, and maybe the performance upgrade, um, just to be safe for the future. Uh, bottom line, if you live on the edge, uh, you need the performance, uh, you intend to take pictures, and remember, it will look like you're taking them on a tablet. Uh, no question, the uh, 2 is the better choice. Uh, but I really feel that uh, the 1, even uh, what's it been, 2 years after it's been released, uh, is a really good purchase. Um, it's really gone down in price right now and it's really a uh, sensible purchase if you're just interested in the form factor and uh, want to use a device like this uh, without shelling out over a thousand dollars pretty much for the two. So um, my choice has still not been made. I am at the moment uh, still leaning towards the one uh, because as I said, I don't take pictures with this and uh, I will get more money back from the two. Uh, and I don't need the camera. The camera bump bothers me. Um, the extra weight bothers me. Uh, but I do like the aspect ratio of the screen on the two so much more uh, because I do uh, read comics and manga on there uh, and it displays video uh, larger when you're, you're using both screens. Um, so it's, it's got some drawbacks, but I think I'm still gonna stick with the, the one to be honest. What do you think? Uh, are you interested in these devices? Uh, do you own the one, the two? Uh, have you switched from the one to the two? And how do you like the, the two compared to the one? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be interested in uh, hearing what you have to say. And uh, for everyone that's already subscribed, don't worry, I'm still working on a camera video as well. Uh, that will be coming shortly, hopefully, maybe. Uh, but until then, uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.